Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advanced Paper 2 Physics in the year 2019. This was one of the easiest questions in the whole paper. Most of the students simply jumped looking at this question because they knew how to do this. This is from the topic of TIR uh, in the optics and uh, this is this was based on the numeric type marking scheme. So let's see what's happening over here. This is a prism which is made up of refractive index root 3 having an angle of 75 degrees. There is a ray which enters from air and it uh, you know uh, goes and suffers a TIR at this surface. There is a slight coating of refractive index N on this surface because of which it suffers. No, it's, it does not suffer TIR but it is said that if theta is less than or equal to 60 degree then it will suffer TIR. So using this data we have to find the value of N. Okay. So now if you see carefully if you consider theta as 60 in that case we are claiming that this angle r2 will become critical angle why so it's very easy to analyze in the question it is given that if theta is less than 60 then tir will begin so that means we can say that at theta equals to 60 the this angle would have become critical angle why because if you decrease theta less than 60 then this angle will also decrease because both of them are connected by Snell's law. So we can say that if you decrease theta, so this angle will decrease. Okay. So if this decreases, then this R2 will increase because some of these two will be 75. So if R2 increases and hence we can say that it must become greater than critical angle because if for theta equals to 60, it is critical. Then for uh, theta, uh, if we decrease theta, then R2 will become more than critical angle. So we can say that at the value of theta equals to 60, this R2 will become exactly equal to critical angle. So now it's very easy to solve this question. 1 into sine theta will be is equals to root 3 into this angle, let's call R1, sine of R1. So from here, you can see that this is root 3 by 2, sine R1 will become half and hence R1 will become 30 degrees, which will give us R2 as 45 degrees. Now, since this is critical angle, so again, if you apply Snell's law, you simply say that this is critical angle, whatever way. So we can write, we can write a Snell's law equation. So root 3 into sin r2, sin r2 means 1 by root 2 will be equals to n into sin 90, right? So from here, we get n equals to root of 3 by 2. So that means n square is 1.5. This is what we were required to find. So you can see this was very easy question and it would not have taken even a minute for students to solve this that's it thank you